so this is mobile mobile protest housing yeah. you know it's on the go the earth fort made with bamboo and earth it's a natural plaster sealer it makes a great great little structure yeah so this is just kind of like a it's kind of like a you a know mobile, a little mud hut that anybody yeah. can just come in it's much warmer inside of there uh you know because it's made out of earth and the walls are about four inches thick and so you know it keeps the cool out and it's some nice pillows and cushions and blankets and stuff it's very very uh, cozy in there and uh, so, yeah, it's just on a trailer. I drive it around, and, uh, you know, it's called a caboose because it's made out of cob, and sand, clay, and straw, and bamboo, right? Right. So it's a caboose. It's, and you yeah, just yeah. tow it around on your bicycle, on the back of your bicycle? Uh, no, on the back of my truck, actually. Back but I have, I have okay. had bicycles pull it before. I've had yeah. two bicycles nice. you know, connected with some ropes to pull it. Uh, yeah. But, you know, it's, it's, my, it's like my, yeah, it's a trailer. It goes behind my truck. And so if I go camping or something or if yeah. I'm on a road trip, I can just take it along and just, you know, camp out in the back. It's really but, yeah, unique. It's, it's mostly to, to demonstrate, like, a possibility of a, of a, of a new kind of structure um, that we can be building as part of the Occupy movement. You know, to build, you know, like, nice, comfortable domes, structures, um, that we can stay in. And actually, well, this could also be like a low-income housing, you know? I mean, like, somebody could actually work on building a structure like this with their own two hands. Yeah. Uh, using local earth and local bamboo for yeah. framing. And and, um, and so it can be a, a really great, uh, yeah, just a, a place for one person to, or two people to sleep. And I can't because it's much warmer inside. So this whole park here, this could actually be a whole buzz straw city village. It would work a little better than some of these We're, tents uh, are exactly, right now. Exactly. They're having some hard times. Uh -huh. <laughs> so they yeah. need to be anchored down a little better. Uh -huh. but, uh, yeah, but this is pretty cool. So there you are actually in inside. We're, we're going in the structure. So it seems pretty dry, pretty snug, pretty comfortable oh, yeah. in there. Oh yeah, it's very comfortable. It's, it's definitely much warmer in here too. And the acoustics are really cool too. Yeah, we had some singing oh. in here earlier, and it sounded really nice. I think this is a really cool idea. I think it's a model for the future, yeah. for sure. It's going to really help mobile yeah. m movements yeah. here. And, and a great thing, you know, I'm, I'm doing this in schools, too, so, you know, the kids need to know how to build a little play structure for themselves, and this this might be the way they'll have to build their houses one day when they can't go to Home Depot and buy cement and wood and metal. Or you know, get a loan. Hey, right. this who knew? Really, this cost me about $50 to build. I mean, who would have thought? The only thing that really cost any money was the sealer to protect it from the rain. The $50? Yeah, yeah. That's... And it only took about 30 hours to build. You know, it's, you know, it's not that difficult to build. This uh, really is a model. So I want to teach workshops here and teach people how to I build. I can see it working for extended strikes, you yeah. know, different things like that. Why not? People bike cart in some uh, mud homes and hang out for a while, and they're not suffering. Exactly. Right. We need to build some ovens, too, some wood fire ovens. Oh, yeah, some ovens, wood fire some ovens. Ovens to stay warm. Sure. I just shout the questions while he answered into the mic. How long do you think you'll stay? We're going to stay up here until the city starts cooperating with, uh, with the residents of Oakland who elected him. Running Wolf stayed in the tree after police cleared out Frank Ogawa Plaza, and he's rigged a pulley system like the one he had during the protest.